minutes to spend on one team. We are going to build an absolute god squad. Let's hop in. What's good, boys? Madden 23 is kind of coming to an end here, which means I can recklessly spend my mommy's credit card. I've got 30 million coins to spend on one team. A whole lot of positions to fill. Let's waste no time. One thing to keep in mind as we build this team, EA recently switched the ability power limit from 12 down to six. Now, why they made this atrocious decision, I don't know, but we have to keep that in mind as we build. Starting out with left tackle, we're gonna pay honor to the man himself, John Madden, rest in peace. The gold 99 left tackle with absolutely amazing stats and amazing discounted abilities. And hilariously, half a million coins is actually kind of cheap for this team. One of my favorite left guards in this game is Batonio. He has amazing abilities. He's a 98 overall. No gold 99, but still an incredible card. At center, I'll take a personal favorite team of the year, Jason Kelsey. At right guard, I'm taking a charger. I'm taking Zion Johnson, 98 overall team builder. That's a biased selection. I met him in real life. Very nice guy. And closing out the offensive line is gold 99, Evan Neal. So gold 99s on either edge and 98s in the interior O-line. Spent roughly three mil. Honestly, not bad at all. All. We're going to have a lot of money to spend on our skill positions. Next up is quarterback, where there are honestly so many good options. Now, if I wanted to be on a budget, I would take gold 99 Super Bowl MVP Patrick Mahomes. It's an incredible card, but there's one quarterback who I really really want to use. I think he is grossly overpriced because he's a very rare limited, but New York Jets, gold 99, Aaron Rodgers. He's 1.6 mil. I got 30, man. I'm not a brokey, okay? Call up Andrew Tate and let him know I'm dropping 1.6 mil on Aaron Rodgers. He's even got 87 speed. The best release in the game. Incredible abilities, of course. We're going Aaron Rodgers. Best halfback in the game is Cordero Patterson, the Flash. There are gold 99 halfbacks, but they don't even come close to this card. I kind of hope he gets a golden ticket for that exact reason. 666,000 coins. That is that is very bad luck, actually. I don't like that. Let's, let's move on. And we can put Patterson with his Falcon teammate, Keith Smith, who's a 98 overall fullback with 99 impact block, 96 lead block, and 93 run block. I formation stretch, I formation halfback lead dive. Ooh, I can just imagine it. Oh, that'll be fun. And I got to give a huge thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video. SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. So if you need to buy tickets for anything, you should have the SeatGeek app on your phone. For example, near me is an upcoming Phoenix Suns playoff game where I can get tickets as low as $121 per seat. SeatGeek shows me the entire arena with price indicators. Green is good and red is bad. So you always know you're getting the best value for your ticket. You can use my promo code MMG for $20 off your first order at SeatGeek. The link is in the top of the description. And again, that's promo code MMG for $20 off your first order. And enjoy the rest of the video. At wide receiver, we have an absurd array of options. But the first wide receiver I want is a no-brainer for me. Gold 99 DK Metcalf. I always love Metcalf wide receiver cards. He's huge. He's fast. He's got 99 jump. His route running is incredible. I don't know what else you could really want here. A must-have wide receiver is Ring of Honor Randy Moss. This Ring of Honor promo dropped five cards. Barry Sanders, Randy Moss, Tony Gonzalez, Primetime, and Lawrence Taylor. Each of those cards was absurd with a crazy amount of discounted abilities. Randy Moss has to be on this team. Almost 800K, but we still got 23 mil and I'm almost done with offense. Next wide receiver I'm grabbing is Gold 99 Debo Samuel's limited card. Now Debo is short, but I really like how physical Debo Samuel cards play. He's an angry elf. <laughs> Look at you! Generally speaking, they outperform their stats. So this is definitely a good third wide receiver, especially since Randy Moss is super tall and so is DK. So this will be my slot wide receiver. And just in case any of those guys get tired, I'll have team of the year Jamar Chase coming off the bench. That's insane. This team is so good that team of the year Jamar Chase is not a starter. Wow. Still a super good card though. Fast, six foot, good stats. He's just not DK or Randy Moss. Not in this game. Now we also need two tight ends because I always use two tight ends. Tony G is a no brainer to start with. And we'll actually go with his Kansas City Chiefs counterpart, Travis Kelsey, the old and the new. Team of the year, Travis Kelsey, such a good tight end. Travis Kelsey will be the backup though. No, you're 
96 speed is crazy fast. Great spectacular catch route running, just not a great run blocker. Whereas Tony G gets like 90 run block. So it's definitely good that he's the starter. Only 9.5 million coins used on offense. Let me throw in the best possible lineup and let's see what it looks like right now. So here is our offense for the 30 mil coin team. We've got Tony G and Travis Kelsey, Evan Neal, Zion Johnson, Jason Kelsey, Batonio, and John Madden with DK Metcalf, Debo Samuel, and Randy Moss as our wide receivers with Jamar Chase as a backup, Aaron Rodgers as QB, the flash at halfback, and Keith Smith at fullback. I should grab a second halfback as well. It's not super uncommon that halfbacks get gassed enough to need a breather. So let's go grab another 98 or 99 halfback. You know, I don't know how many opportunities we will have to get a Cleveland Browns player. So my backup halfback being 98 overall Nick Chubb sounds pretty awesome. 97 speed, 98 truck, 99 brake tackle. 99 acceleration. Half a million for a guy who may not see the field, but it's my mommy's credit card. So it's not real money, you know? That completes our offense. Let's move on to defense. The first player I'm gonna get on defense is probably one of the stupidest cards I put in this game. I don't know why they do this, but honestly, it should be really fun. And Mad 23 is pretty much dead at this point, so who cares? Let's, let's do stupid shit like this. I kind of respect it. The middle linebacker I'm thinking of is not Brian Urlacher. It's not Fred Warner. It's not Ryan Shazier. It's this stupid fucking bozo Harold Carmichael. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't play a lot of Madden, they come out with this promo called Backyard Ballers, where they take tons of players and just give them a random position. Well, Harold Carmichael is six foot eight. He has 97 speed, and this is a gold 99 middle linebacker. He even has 98 change of direction, so yeah, this is, this is your end game, broken ass middle linebacker. I've never used it personally. This will be my first time. So let's have some fun. 603,000 coins for our MLB. Now, if you're thinking I have too many coins, you're wrong. Because in general, defense is a lot more expensive than offense. Especially when you look at a guy like Gold99 Ted Hendricks, who is equally as busted as Carmichael, except Hendricks was actually a linebacker. Six foot seven, 220, 97 speed, absurd stats, massive. Ted Hendricks always is bust in these games and he's 1.28 mil he's expensive and we're gonna run into a lot of these cards that are crazy good but crazy expensive so i'm very glad we conserved our coins for defense next up i'll do safeties which i argue are the most important positions oh Oh, I told you, man, this is where we're going to start spending. Gold 99 Cam Chancellor is a disgustingly good strong safety. There's no question he's the best in the game. But 1.8 mil? I got all my wide receivers for less than 1.8 mil. Woo! 1.8 mil for Gold 99 Cam Chancellor. I'll let you look at the stats one more time. 6'3", 225, 98 speed, 99 hit power. Duh. They even gave him 99 zone coverage, 92 man. 99 acceleration. Fuck, he's got 80 spectacular catch. He's on defense. He's got 97 impact block. So when you get an interception and Cam Chancellor's leading the way, he's gonna fucking flatten somebody. They thought of everything with that card and there's a reason he's 1.8 mil. But hey, we got the bread for it. We're not even halfway right now. For free safeties, honestly, I think a lot of the gold 99 free safeties suck. Logan Ryan is tiny. Ocho Cinco just plays weird as hell because he has no business being there. My favorite is probably Justin Simmons. Gold 99 Justin Simmons is a dog. He's not as good as Cam, but he's still really good. 6'2", 202, 98 speed, 97 hit power. The duo of these two will be pretty amazing. Now for the position that the pros will tell you is the most important is the corners. Now they're there is one 98 overall team of the year corner who transcends all stats, and that is Sauce Gardner. 98 team of the year Sauce Gardner is arguably the best corner in the game still. So tall for a corner, so physical. He doesn't have 99 speed, but he pretty much does on everybody's team because you put in those strategy items that give you a boost. Freak. So good. Half a mil for Sauce. That's a great start. If I can get all of my corners to be six foot three or taller, we will have a crazy good team. I should be able to. Next best is Gold 99 Night Train Lane. A little bit shorter, like I said. I didn't think I'd actually be able to get three superstars who are that tall. They just don't exist in the game right now. But Night Train Lane is still crazy good. 99 speed, 99 zone coverage. He's 6'1", and he tackles really, really well. He has 98 hit power. He has 96 pursuit. He has 88 block shot. 
shed and 93 break tackle. You're rarely gonna get that out of a corner. So we'll definitely take night train lane here. Hilariously, six foot one is short at corner in Madden 23. In the league, six foot one is a tall corner, but in Madden, that is a short corner. And for my final corner, I'll go with another Wheel of Mutt legend. That's gold 99 Charles Woodson. Six foot one, 99 speed, an incredible card. Uh, no question. 1.2 mil is a little overpriced for him, but I don't really have a choice here. Now, there are certain formations that will pull in a fourth corner. I highly doubt I'll run them, but I'm going to have to pick up one player anyway. So for that fourth corner slot, even though we might not use it, I'm going to take Jalen Ramsey. Team of the year, physical, 6-1. Brings us down to 13 million. We've got a D-line and a few other linebackers to work on, but overall, we're doing really good on coins here. So we do need an MLB two. So I'll take Fred Warner. I do actually use MLB two. There's a defense I run that uses it a lot. So Carmichael and Fred Warner will probably be on the field more than a few times in this upcoming game. And for my right outside linebacker, it's another no brainer. That's ring of honor, Lawrence Taylor. I like to pass rush my outside linebackers. But Ted Hendricks is so good in coverage that he won't pass rush. So Lawrence Taylor is going to be doing a lot of pass rush. He's lit he's the greatest defensive player of all time. He's the greatest pass rusher of all time. Obviously, I'm going Lawrence Taylor here. He gets crazy discounted abilities, which is a huge thing this year. And on top of that, he has 99 block shed, 99 power moves, and 98 finesse moves with 95 speed. I have never had a card get so many sacks as this Lawrence Taylor. That Wheel of Mutt season when I had Lawrence Taylor, he was legitimately averaging, I think, three sacks a game, which is fucked up. That's insane. Moving on to the defensive line. Gold 99, Gap Tooth, London, look. Michael Strahan, who has very similar stats here to Lawrence Taylor. Taylor, and he's on the D-line. I don't know his discounted abilities, but I guess I'll find out. Gold 99, Michael Strahan for the D-line. At D-tackle, will rock big boy William Perry, the fridge, as well as gold 99, Dexter Lawrence for 700K. Never used this Dexter Lawrence, but he's 6'4 with 87 speed, 98 block shed, 99, and 85 finesse moves, 99 tackle, 95 excel. Damn. All right. Boy, we have a legendary D-line with William Perry, Michael Strahan, and now gold 99, Bruce Smith at right end. Jesus, this card is nasty. Do we have Bruce Smith and Lawrence Taylor on the same team? That should not be allowed, man. That fills, I think, every single defensive position. Let me go double check, ensure that that's true. But all we've got left to worry about is special teams and maybe a little bit of depth with the extra coins we have left over. I'll generate the best team possible. We are a 98 overall. We're so close to that coveted 99. Oh, but it just might not be possible. We'll see, though. I'm not giving up yet. Now, defensively, oh my God. God, so many more gold 99s in offense. Look at this. Gold 99 Simmons, Lawrence Taylor, Fred Warner, Carmichael, Hendricks, Cam Chancellor, Charles Woodson, Strahan, Perry, Dexter Lawrence, Bruce Smith, Sauce, and Night Train Lane. Sheesh. That is one hell of a defense, man. Jesus. Well, let's go see what small improvements we can make. So number one, let's go get our special teams. I don't even know who the best kicker in the game is. I don't know if they have a gold 99 kicker. There is a 98 overall team of the year, Justin Tucker. We'll be picking that up. And at punter, we can rock team of the year, Tommy T Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Good try. Hilariously, that is not the best punter. The best punter is the Scottish Hammer. How could I forget? This is the best punter right here. There's no question. Now, anyone confused, the Scottish Hammer has his own unique ability. And that ability is called the Scottish Hammer. It adds agility, kick power, impact block, and hit power to kickers, punters, D-line, and linebackers. Why they decided to do that, I don't know, but I don't care. Because that's the best punter in the game right there, and I ain't punting for shit. So we just put him on the lineup and get a boost. And that actually perfectly reminds me of another player that we are definitely adding to this team even though he won't get a single minute. And that's Ryan Jensen, the Red Tornado. So Ryan Jensen, the Red Tornado, boosts left and right guard with agility, speed, acceleration, and run block finesse. He does not have to start. So this can be my backup center and my left and right guard are gonna get better. So gotta do that. And I'm glad I hung onto these coins because there was an offensive lineman who I wanted, 
but he was so ridiculously expensive, I figured there's no way I pick him up, right? Well, apparently it's now possible. Gold 99, right guard, Larry Allen. Coming in at 2.2 mil, the most expensive. This is the most expensive card in the game. A fucking right guard, but he's, dude, he's so worth it. He's so good. 99's everything. I can't even imagine what abilities he gets. I'm excited to see. And he's gonna get the boost from Ryan Jensen. So we might actually be a true 99 overall with that addition, but we'll see. You know, I'm really gonna try and push this team to gold 99, so I'm gonna start going in my bag of tricks here. Number one bag of tricks. You guys remember I put Keith Smith at fullback? Keith Smith is a 98, but guess who's a 99 overall at fullback? 98 overall team of the year George Kittle is, because he's such a good blocker. So that's a start. I'm gonna go back in and generate the best lineup, and I'm gonna see if this propels us to a 99. The addition of Larry Allen, George Kittle and Ryan Jensen. It might, it might do it. Our overall is, oh, it's still a 98. Damn. That's actually crazy to me because a massive majority of this team is a 99 overall. My entire offense is gold 99, except for Batonio, Kelsey, and Flash. And on defense, everybody's a gold 99, except for William Perry. That's frustrating. I, I, what am I complaining about? This is one of the best, this is the best team I probably ever built myself, and one of the best teams I've ever used. No question. Ah, uh, keep in mind though, I've got 4.4 million coins left and I still do have strategy items. I don't have any strategy items out there right now. I'm gonna go with iron wall for my offensive line. Pass block, impact block, pass block power, pass block finesse. And in the zone for my DB, zone coverage, play rec, and press. All right, gentlemen, the team is all set. Here's what we got. DK Metcalf with Deep Out Elite. Tony Gonzalez with Double Me, Red Zone Threat, and Deep Out Elite. John Madden with Threat Detector and Edge Protector. Threat Detector being one of my favorite abilities this year to highlight blitzers during pre-play on third and fourth down. It has saved me so many times. Aaron Rodgers with Run and Gun, Fearless, Gunslinger, Set Feet Lead, and Hot Route Master. That is a crazy good card. I'm so glad we got him. Debo Samuel with Route Tech. Travis Kelsey with Route Tech. Jason Kelsey with Identifier and Secure Protector. The Flash with his signature ability, Phenom. Nick Chubb with Tank. And Bytonio with Nasty Streak. That's the offense. And on defense, we are similarly cracked out with Night Train Lane with Shutdown Film Study and Pick Artist. Dexter Lawrence with Inside Stuff. Justin Simmons with Shutdown and Acrobat. Bam Bam Cam with Shutdown, Acrobat, and Crusher. Fred Warner with Crusher and Enforcer. Charles Woodson with Acrobat. Lawrence Taylor with Double or Nothing, Edge Threat Elite. Ted Hendricks with Crusher and Acrobat. Michael Strahan with Edge Threat Elite. Sauce Gardner with Pick Artist Acrobat. And to finish it all off is Gold 99, Harold Carmichael, middle linebacker with Lurker and Pick Artist. And of course, we've got special teams as well. The Scottish Hammer giving some boosts. And Justin Tucker with Clutch Kicker, Precision Kicker, and Zen Kicker. If I miss a field goal, I'm a fucking fraud. Let's just call it how it is. And I, dude, I've got 4.1 million coins. I legitimately cannot think of a single thing I could spend it on. I have wide receiver depth. I have tight end depth. I just... I don't know what I could spend it on. In fact, there's actually only one card that I want that I don't have, and it's Gold 99 Richard Sherman. I thought it'd be so sick to put Richard Sherman back there with Bam Bam Cam. Richard Sherman is so good. Oh, oh, he's listed. Oh my God, finally. Oh my God, somebody just listed two at once. Yes, we're not done, boys. We're not done. Gold 99 Richard Sherman, I've been looking for you. All right, gentlemen, we can now confidently say we're finished. Six foot three, 98. This is such a good corner, Richard Sherman. I'm going to give him Acrobat and I'm going to put him where Sauce is. And Sauce will move to the backup where Jalen Ramsey is. And with that final adjustment of Acrobat Sherman and Sauce now with just pick artists, we are ready to go. One absolute hell of a lineup. If there was a gold 99 left guard, I think I could be a 99 overall. We have a 99 defense, a 98 offense, a 98 overall, and definitely nothing to complain about because this is a true true god squad all right boys let's go ruin somebody's day and head to head who's catching the smoke donovan mcnab brian erlacher mike singletary playing in at&t stadium you know i'll never forget the time i got to play a game of madden on that jumbotron i, I think of it every time i play in this stadium cd lamb with the kick return uh oh whoa whoa no i don't like this camera angle dude whenever they get that fucking camera angle they always get a kick return Oh, that's such shit. That's so fucked up. Even literally a 30 million coin team 
can't stop the dreaded camera angle. You guys ever notice that? It's like the moment you kick it off, the game's like, all right, buddy, he's taking this shit to the house. There's nothing you can do about it. Tough start, but... Hey, there's a lot of football left to be played. All right, Flash, I don't see, I don't, <laughs> I don't see the camera angle, which means you're going to get tackled. Yeah, what a bummer. It really don't matter. We're going to earn this touchdown. Let's start out with a run play. I like that blocking on the edge. And the Flash has got so much room. Let's get Tony G on a whip route in case that's man coverage. Ooh, got that off a little bit late, but I saw him. Ooh, yup, I can see the blitz. Oh, we gotta go Tony G. We gotta go Tony G, this is a zone. There he is, Tony G! Oh, what? Are you serious? You caught that nonsense? Damn. All right, well, come on live boys. This is a, this is a rough start. It's a God squad though. It's a God, it's a God squad for a reason. I can't be, I can't be stopped like this. He's going to go with a play action. And I thought Hendricks would swallow him up, but he'll just throw a pick even better. That's honestly significantly better. We'll take that. All right. Well, we have two turnovers, one kick return touchdown, and we are not even a minute into this game. I'm gonna get the ground game going though, cause I've been making some poor decisions. Let's just run the ball with the flash, right? Third and three, who's where? Oh, you're there. What a pocket, holy shit. Prime time, okay. Jesus. I haven't played Madden about a month, but I, I didn't expect it to be like this. Oh, slip screen. Oh my God. Second and one, that's play action. And down he goes. We're playing really good defense. I've just had a tough go on offense thus far. We're sticking with it though. I'm not ready to give up. Third and nine, what do you got? I'm over here. Oh, oh my fucking God, Carmichael. Holy shit. Yo, 6-8 Lurker is no joke. That was messed up. I don't know if I could have made that lurk with anybody else. Jeez. All right, I'm going to play really smart this drive. I'm just going to slow it down significantly. I'm going to throw much smarter passes. Aaron Rodgers is one for five, and honestly, it's all my fault, so. Oh, the flash. Wait, wait, wait. Is that a good pass? Oh, my God. <laughs> Rogers, you dog, bro. Holy shit, I can't believe that went through. All right, we're gonna bring Tony G on a cross. Oh, he's there. What a laser! What a laser! Rogers is a beast. I'm Rogers. I'm sorry for throwing dumb passes, man. All right, let's get this ball in the end zone, gentlemen. First and goal from the nine. It's been a, an interesting first quarter, but I still feel really good. Having a God squad kind of helps. Now I'm just gonna go inside zone. I'm not even fucking around with this. Just same shit, different day. Ugh. Fuck. I should have just gone right at his user. I, I know I can beat that. I'm hitting Tony G. I'm hitting Tony G high ball. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm hitting Aaron Rodgers up the gut. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's fourth and goal. Oh, my God. Fuck it. We're going for it. Of course we're going for it. Look at Aaron Rodgers. I'm running up the gut. We'll see how this goes. He's blitzing everybody. I don't care. Let's fucking send it. Let's go, Flash. Too easy. Hey. Sorry, Pete Carroll, but that's how you do it. All right. Seven to seven. Three minutes in the second. And I start half with the ball. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Nope. No angle. No way. You're going to get two. What do you know? He doesn't get the camera angle. He doesn't get the return. An interesting play call here. And he takes a shot from Carmichael. Works for me. I'm on this. Oh, that's kind of covered. Good defense. <laughs> Lawrence Taylor and bass coverage. I just got to cover the halfback. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, great stop, but that should have been an interception. For sure should have been an interception. I don't know how that wasn't. He's going to go for it from the 31. He's got to be going for this. He's thinking, he's been thinking so long. Oh, he will punt it. Oh, but it's Randall Cunningham. That could be a fake. Okay. He actually is coming out and punt. I'm going to come out and punt return, but I'm taking Justin Simmons just in case he's faking this. He's not. He's not. Okay. Flash. Holy punt dot. Shit. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Wait. Cut it up. <gasps> Ow. I don't know if that was possible, but bro, the entire year I've never returned a punt. It's kind of sad, honestly. First and 10. I'm going to go back to this run play to the left side. Oh, cut it up. Tony G runs a crispy route. Damn. 
Very nice throw from Rodgers. That could have been... Could have been a little spooky. All right, I want to get my wide receivers involved, especially if he's just running these man blitzes. Let's just go right at him. Ooh, RB. Look at Randy Moss. Oh, I thought it'd be a touchdown. I've got a post out of Y. Oh, he's there. What a route, Metcalf. Oh, he got grabbed. He got grabbed and pulled back, but it's first and goal running insane routes right now. Let me see Tony G here. Oh, he's there. Money. Jeez. Look at that drive. Oh my God, he couldn't do shit. Great work, gentlemen. Let's go for two. I'm gonna go I-form stretch. Got such good offensive linemen. George Kittle is such a good blocker. I just need a good block out of Kittle. Ah, flash, flash. No way. That's a bailout. I got, I got shoved from the two in there. Low football IQ over there on the Dallas Cowboys. But hey, listen, his only points are that kick return right now. No, 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 no. That was the that was the camera angle. I might just be full of shit. Maybe he just straight up returned that first one. I'm going with Carmichael. You're done for. Oh, he lived. Only his third completed pass. Let's just drop into coverage. Oh shit. I'm on Dexter Lawrence, but he's gonna quit. He's gonna quit. There's no way. Ooh, bad ball. Wow. Wow, I threw into a window that I should not have, but I'll take it. First and 10. This is play action. I'm going to throw low to flash. Great ball. Great juke. We're still up. We're still up. <gasps> he fumbled and then picked it up and went out of bounds. That was... What the, that fumble was so weird. He, he kind of like... Hey, stop. That's good. <laughs> oh my gosh. I gotta edit that out, man. He kind of like just placed the ball on the ground. Let's see if DK Metcalf can go up on prime time. I feel like that's probably my best bet here. I'm gonna go up. To, I'm going up to Metcalf. Fuck him. <laughs> Good defense. Good defense. Good defense. I'm gonna try a Tony G corner route now. Although Metcalf is in true single coverage now. I'm gonna try Metcalf again. Fuck him. Let's go, Metcalf. Oh, get up! Prime time gets lost by DK Metcalf. Oh my god. Dude, when I normally play Madden, I would never throw that. Ever. Ever when I throw that. <laughs> but I got a God Squad now. My confidence is through the roof. 22 to 7. I have two turnovers, and it is 22 to 7 in the second quarter. That is crazy. Halfback. Ooh, heave. Wait, that's kind of open. Shit. Somebody... No way! Oh my god, he hail married me. I wasn't paying nearly good enough attention. Shit. That changes things. That's actually... That's a pretty big... That's a pretty big play right there. Damn. 22 to 14. My ball at half. This game is not quite out of reach after that. That's a very nice play by him. I'm gonna go Tony G underneath. <laughs> Single there. He's gonna miss. Whoa. I almost just waltzed my way through about eight cowboys right there. Oh, X. Oh, I don't know. Oh, my fucking God, Rogers, you're insane. That was a crazy throw. I think this is man, so I'll go Tony G on the whip. It is not man coverage, so I could hit RB. Fourth and six is a little sketchy, but I'm going for it. Oh, shit, he's there. No, he's not. Oh, my God, Metcalf. Let's go. That was a big play. All right, now I'm going fucking yard. I'm hitting somebody deep. I'm probably hitting Randy Moss. Three, two, Randy Moss. Bingo. Up, up. Good moves, Randy. Come on, Cowboys. You got to find an answer for this. I'm going to keep hitting you with it. Let's see if he floats her lacquer to this now. Oh, buddy. Buddy. Tony G. Tony G. We're down to the four. Rogers is going crazy right now. I'm going to give Tony G an out route. I've got double me on. Oh, he called the timeout. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. We're close. We're knocking. I'm just going to go left side. Hold him. Hold him. Hold him! Let's go, Flash! And he breaks the tackle. Ooh, that was a big one. Justin Tucker drills it down the middle. 29 to 14. A beautiful drive. It'd be tough to lose this game. If I lost this game, I'm a fraud. A true fraud. I can't give him the time to set up these ridiculous passes. I have to send he play action. Gotta be, right? Yup, yup, yup. Carmichael. Oh, nice pass. Got that over the top. All right, let's go, with man blitz. I'm going to guess pass this time. <sighs> Tries to get it off. Lawrence Taylor's too fast. I got to run left. Oh, my God. I was so... Wait, 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 wait. I was so close with Carmichael. Carmichael, you should have been seven foot tall, dummy. It's all your fault. 
Fakes the handoff. Rolling right. Enough. That is just such a bad pass. Oh. Night Train comes down with it. He was starting to mount a drive there. No. I was having so much fun. That's a god squad right there. Holy shit. All right, boys. I spent 30 million coins to build one team, and this was the result. Incredible as we expected. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I probably won't have too many more Madden 23 videos, but I hope you enjoy everything I'm posting. And I love you for watching regardless. Appreciate you guys. Peace.